Welcome back, everybody. All right, we're gonna have a quick discussion here, and then we will continue on our merry way. Uh, okay, sorry. First off, we're gonna fight the uh, you know fight the server queue. Then we're gonna that. <laughs> okay, hopefully uh, everybody's having a good. Uh, <clears throat> Having a good week so far, and uh, yeah. The rough cutscenes play in sequence. Okay, welcome back. Congratulate you on Wakuma's victory. Great honor. Contestants, the future Dawn Servant, Grand Journey, Fatigue, Relax and Enjoy. Okay. Okay. Sometime later. Oh, okay. Oh. Knocks at my door. Oh, hello. You're not the cat boy I w I'm looking for. Surprised to see me, I suppose. It's only natural. Yeah. My cat boy has red hair. <laughs> Improperly, thank you. Uh, my sister was able to realize her potential as a testament to the quality of her traveling companions, particularly you. I try. That you have my heartfelt gratitude. I think this is uh, probably the right one because yeah, he he seems like he wants to help Uklamot. Uh, my primary business in calling is to deliver a message from Lamati. As you well know, after the ascension ceremony, she will officially take up the mantle of Dawn Servant. Uh, she has expressed a desire for you to accept a post within her administration. Making no mention of me. Uh-oh. Uh, you need to decide immediately. Uh, my sister will broach the matter with you again after the ceremony. Uh, whether you continue to assist Lamati or not is up to you. This is all if you'll excuse me. Okay. Um. Huh. Uh, you've become someone irreplaceable to her as her brother. I acknowledge that with uh, with no little jealousy. Believe me when I say it, I hope you will stay by her side. This is weird. I don't really feel like we've spent a lot of time with uh, Buklamot to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'm going to become like part of your nation's politics or whatever. I don't know. And thus it arrived. Okay. Day of the Dawn Servant Ascension Ceremony. Okay. Oh. What's in the box? Wait, is it a box? What's going on? I like that outfit, though. What a crowd! As befits the changing of dawn servants. Oh, it's another tablet, probably. Okay. Now that I get a closer look at it, that makes more sense. It's starting. Reason is resting again. 
thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witnessed the dusking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present the claimant, whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph and the city of gold. Yeah, I really like that ja that outfit that uh, one of them is wearing. My daughter, Wook Lamott. Huzzah! Huzzah! Long live the Dawn Servant! Long live Tuli Yolal! Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tuli Yolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. Through the time-honored Ihana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and trade craft, the Pelu Pelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. From the Moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity that it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. Okay. I was by the history and hopes of the Yokui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remembered. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. Yeah, we'll just tell so everybody about that, okay. Forged, I'm hopeful that they will find... Oh, good. Understanding with Mamuk? What sorcery did she use on them? All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive, and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamalka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tuli Hyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen, and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Let's bear. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness. I'm not crazy about that line, though, but... I 
I say mine, but the Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? Wait, what? Oh, is he? Oh dear. What is she doing? Yeah. <sighs> My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. Oh. But my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. Someone with the knowledge and insight that I lack. So what do you say? Be Don servant with me, Kona. Oh. This makes sense. Reason and resolve. Flamachi? Are you certain? Absolutely. You take reason, and I take resolve. Together, we make a full Dawn Servant. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you have no objections from me, of course. I wonder if he saw that coming. Mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which. I introduced to our nation. Okay. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. Hang on, what? Did we, uh, you know, we, we're gonna skip over that part? I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside, and the very people I wished to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us. Connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. There we go. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister. To give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. There we go. I wonder who these two are that we keep, like, going back to that I'm not sure if we've met. Oh. <laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. Oh, God. <laughs> Did she already have the statue made? That would have been funny. It's like, nah, I'm good.
This is the Lay of Legacy, the part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Dawn servant. <laughs> nice. Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. That's actually pretty smart, especially for you. With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. I wonder if they did that on purpose because they didn't want to have to get him two voice actors. Hmm. Of course you knew. It's been three years since my brother left us. Oh no. It cannot be. The head of reason is no longer with us. Oh, tragic tidings. Oh, that sucks. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. Oh. And then he died. Forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. That's funny. <laughs> but he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Though not quite to the original script. Your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo. Okay. So was that whole wants to give me a position thing just some sort of a ruse? Or is that coming up? Oh, they said to uh, might talk to me after the ceremony, so maybe that's still coming. Okay. Brilliant up there. Uh, a part of the second promise was surprising. Oh, part of the second promise was surprising, but between the two of them, I dare say, our new Dawn servants capable of anything. Mm hmm. Uh, future Tuliol all is bright indeed. All right, well, now let's find your grandpa. Because that's the most important part. Yeah. I came here to help Kryle. Earlier in Yachtarel. Or in Yachtel. Uh-oh. Going on. Changes in the air, and it's all because of our little firebrand. Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. Oh, he's going to? Okay. Losing all the old people. Okay.
Yeah, so, yeah, we're uh, just, you know, off with the old people, the expansion. Like... Okay. We're, we're focusing on this uh, gentleman a little much, though. I'm wondering if something's going to happen. Looks like it. Yeah, there we go. Good. Well, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> I swear this isn't pre-watched. Even greater, even brighter, okay. I'm into her own, is she not? Uh, even as she moved the people with her heartfelt words, she retained her characteristic spontaneity as evident by her nomination of Kona as fellow Dawn servant. Sudden as it was, I would like to believe she gave it all due consideration. You do far worse. Uh, Kona completed every feat except the last, and that he only forfeited to help Uklamot secure victory. Prosper under their care. Thank you for coming. Perfectly from up there. Impressive speech, Dawn Servant. Holds you no titles. <laughs> okay. Everything we've been through together, you're nothing less than family. But like my family does, I'd like you to call me Lamity. If I pronounce it right, I don't know. Yeah. Means a lot to me, okay. Better to call you Lamachi, might as well. Consider us your Eorzean cousins if such a notion appeals to you. Cousins is a little embarrassing, but not in a bad way, okay? Still lots I'd like to say, but I need to make my rounds first. Thank my supporters or just. Uh, we're visiting for the occasion. Could you wait here for me? Okay. Would you join me? God damn it! Hey. Okay. Let's get to the part where we figure out what's going on with Kryle's grandpa. Uh, okay. Okay. Not just for a snack, I promised. I'm accompanying you. Okay. Uh, where am I? I am going over there. Okay. Um, I think this way is the faster way. I think. How does she react if I do that? Okay, she just teleports. Got it. It's the only reason I didn't use Smudge the first time, because I wasn't sure how, uh, how followers react to movement abilities like that. So. Okay, so we're doing another round of the town. That's a little weird, but okay. Yes, Wukavu. Okay. I also realized I haven't finished um, a bunch of the side story stuff, but I don't know if it's important, so I'll probably just leave it until it tells me I need to finish it. Uh, we're just going to express the profound joy Ascension brought to me. Formalities, I'm still the same old me. Alright then, I shall forgo formalities. Alright. 
could more easily converse with a drunken alpaca. Come to servant political opinions. Community may be divided. Okay. Wonderful plan, though. My first big undertaking as a merchant. I like the sound of a sale. Uh, so long as I'm not persuaded to buy too much. Okay. Good to see you all again. Personally, thank each and every one of you for your help. Okay. It reads of gold. First true test is claimant. If not for your guidance, I would have failed the right of succession before I fully understood its importance. That's fair. Can't wait to see what else Tuliol has in store in Zaktoral, for instance. Which you must observe proper etiquette. I would be happy to offer my services as tutor, should you desire them. No better instructor. I'll be sure to bring Kona as well. Zon servant will be plentiful, but don't forget your promise to attend Ihana next season. Of course, I wouldn't miss it. Come by the palace and tell you all about my biggest sales. Okay. Personally, attending your alpacas care too. Uh, dear, we hope to see you attend the ranch again. Tell my fluffy spit build friend that Wuklamot will visit soon. Oh, you haven't seen Bongentain? I'm not sure how to pronounce that here, have you? A weapon stealer in Bayside Bevy. Company of a mob and a pair of Yakoi, if I remember correctly. Okay. Enjoy the festivities and the tacos. Oh, so there's some sort of party going on. Okay. Uh, so this is like right next door, practically. Yeah. Yeah, he's like right up here or something, isn't he? Yeah, can't miss that wood. He's a big guy. Servants, very onerous with your presence. Thanks for coming, everyone. I know the journey to Tuliola was a short one. Long road, worth travel to congratulate new dawn servants. To hear the head of reason has passed brings me sorrow. Uh, we we will remember him will ensure he lives on. May the accolades of this day be as offerings to the future he envisioned. I, Luminary, and I uh, attend on behalf of uh, Bullard. Lars Echo. People come on mass would have been an obstruction. That's fair. You're always welcome, all of you. Uh, this is your city as much as anyone's. Hail and, hail and holes, Vera. A uh, little of the particulars. I can only imagine your latest adventure has been long and colorful. Uh, beginning with, with near shipwreck, if you'll remember, it here stands celebrant. Celebrating the ascension of your claimant. Journey began with not only of preserving the peace that my father worked so hard to create, the feet of pots, feet of proof, and the feet of ice. Show me that peace is not simply the absence of war. Being able uh, to live together in safety and happiness, that's what my father envisioned for this nation. Tuli all we want. It's Don Servant. I'll do everything can to bring that same happiness to the bandits of Kazama and the Yokoi. And I won't forget them. Moved by your father's influence, so too, maybe. Chirwagger, come to accept your peace. Their beliefs have stood for millennia, will not easily shifted, neither are they immutable. That's fair. I can be pretty determined they'll come around eventually, mark my words. The efficacy of your determination, thanks to the Moblin's hospitality, I've been able to rediscover my joy of crafting. Good lives secure, the village overflows. Okay. The goblin dialogue has always confused me. I'm not going to try and sort it out. A partnership like yours is bound to be fruitful. Look forward to seeing fantastic pieces you produce. Other people I'd like to see try and find a new route. Saw him on the sands below. Gleam sands, got it. Okay. 
during time in the city, remember this will always be your home too. I don't know how it'll handle me jumping off the balcony, so we're not going to do that. First one is a dancer, and congratulations. Title may have changed, but I'm still just with Lamont. Okay. More than just, I'd say, you've grown into a leader fit for your nation. Your father must be proud. So, but big events like this make me wonder, you know, my birth parents might say if they knew. Imagine they would say that fills their heart with joy to see the strong, compassionate woman you've become. I give my thanks as well for fulfilling your promise to me. I told the cool judge to stay with us so we could all congratulate you in person, but he marched off muttering something about not being able to face you just yet. That's fair. Boy well, needs purpose. Purpose beyond catering to the demands of others. He was always too obliging for his own good. Sure, he'll find, uh, find it in his own time, especially if he knows his family is there for him. That we are. Uh, by the by, have you seen Keterim anywhere? Or Tanquil, that's it. Was it? Strong name, if a bit exotic. Called upon him before leaving Mamuk, but he wasn't at home. I don't recall seeing him at the ceremony either. Uh, the first promise was notably absent as well, though I assume he required time to solve his injury pride. Everyone thought he'd be the one to exceed Papa. Uh, Papa. My victory must have come quite as a shock to him. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm... Hank, well, I'm sure he, uh, he's around here somewhere or ready to appear when we least expect him. Well, I don't think so, considering the, uh, that's, that slash wound in his, you know, in his back at this point. Turn to winged walk. Okay. And we head back... Like I said, I still kind of want to, you know, I, I'm more curious about uh, what's going on with the, or what happened with Kryle's grandfather, or parents potentially? I'm not 100% sure if that also plays into it, but that one I'm very much just speculating on. But either way... I mean that uh, that story does intrigue me. I'm looking. Um, I am uh, highly curious as to where the Stargate goes. As uh, as I called it, I haven't watched other other uh, content creators sort of content on it, so I'm not sure if I'm the first person to coin the term. Coin the term, but I mean. You can't tell me that's not what it looks like. Okay, almost. Was that one of the gate guards that was uh, in that outfit? Back didn't rush you. Okay. Well, I mean, you guys were just standing here, so. Seen everyone you wanted to see? I have. Sorry for keeping you all. Now, there's just one last matter. What Kona spoke to you about. I'm sure he made it abundantly clear, but I'm completely serious. I want you to stay in Tulihola with me. OK. 
Okay. I'm not forcing you, of course. But should you wish it, you'll always have a place here. Okay. Ah, uh, that's right. This is for you. Oh. A permit granting passage to Chatural, which, as I recall, you've yet to see. Okay. An adventurer like you could hardly resist, no? Okay. <sighs> I can't believe our journey is over already. I have a weird feeling it's about half over, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, call me crazy. You accepted me as a comrade and stood with me to the end. You have my eternal gratitude. Thank you. Well, I had better get going. I need to start learning all my official dawn servant duties. I'll be sure to share what my old man says about the Golden City too, once he tells me. Till then. Feel free to pass the time as you like. Okay. For so now, I will remain in Tural. There's someone I'd like to see before returning to Charlian. What about the rest of you? Alize and I also intend to remain a while longer. As educational as this experience has been thus far, we feel there are even more lessons to be had for Garlemalt. By hearing about the peace your father facilitated, and then seeing you reforge relations with Mamuk, we were reminded of a profound truth. That is, acceptance begins with understanding. And, like you demonstrated throughout the rite, there are unexpected yet effective ways for two sides to understand each other. The question is how to encourage it, and by seeing more of this nation born of unity, we hope to find some hints. That's fair. Personally, I can hardly wait to learn more about the City of Gold. So, if I may, I'd like to stay in Tuliolal as well. Yeah, we haven't really resolved means, any of that for your you. Your are at your disposal for as long as you need them. And what of you? Thinking of touring Shaktural, perhaps? I mean, it may as well. Yeah, I may as well say that's the plan, because it's like, I'm here. Yeah. Of course. You're hardly the type to leave half a continent unexplored. Then perhaps we could travel together? Hey, buddy. The person I intend to meet is my mentor. So I'll be visiting my hometown in Shaktural. If you have no particular destination in mind, I'd be happy to guide you on route. That's fair. We'll make mark around because we won't have to keep losing Wuklamat. Then it's farewell for now. Take care, all of you. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. Naruto became the Hokage. When you're ready, come and meet me at the Shak Tural Skygate. Okay, I'll be there momentarily, I suppose. We're friends to the end, you hear me? Friends to the end!
It's faster to go back this way, probably, and then use the ether, uh, the etherite. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm not, uh, uh, like I said, I'm not really sure if I'm quote-unquote halfway through, um, or if this is halfway through. Permit packed and ready, okay. Traveling with our new Dawn Servant may have scarred me for life. Oh, jeez, buddy. Depths of the sky deep cenote. Okay, so that's where you've been. You don't have all seven. Wait, how do you now have all seven uh, keystones? confused and concerned okay so now you you're at the Stargate I this is the gate to the Golden City two decades ago your father that uh, bade me transcribe a letter to a scholar across the salt, petitioning the study of... Oh, okay. What he discovered was something the Dawn Servant feared enough to seal away forever, or so we thought, until the right's objective became the City of Gold. To think that Tanqua would have... would be entrusted at safekeeping had I known that three old father had a set of keystones. Oh, might have been spared ourselves the tires and feats. Oh, okay. That's that's kind of a cheap way to say that they get their great power sleeps here, and with it you shall obtain your birthright. So you say, yet the new Dawn Servant succeeded where I could not. Taking their throne will be no easy task. Resilient son underestimates his own potential. Uh, there's no need to worry. It liberated the key from the Dawn Servant's vault. You alone have the means to unlock the gate. It looks like part of Eden almost. From uh, the first. That's weird. Uh, you will gain all you were denied. The right, your father's shade. Uh, these bitter memories shall soon be forgotten. Seize your future promise. Open the gate and become the ruler you were destined to be. Huh. Oh. Yeah, it didn't turn on for someone else. Uh-oh. It's working. Uh-oh. Where's the Stargate go? Someone there can hear me. Uh, 
at last. There, show yourself. I only could alas this gate will not open for me only the key in your possession can connect us well, that's convenient isn't it guardian of the city's great power I do not claim this power is great but the knowledge I possess is enough to realize any desire to remake worlds I don't like that Is that so? Uh oh. Fascinating. Name your price then, for my desire is the world itself. Resilient sun rises. Together we shall create a nation worthy of our rule. Yeah, no, you weren't ever part of this picture. Promise. Why? Yeah, he wasn't going to share with you. Like, <laughs> Yeah, first promise is nuts. A useless tool is cast aside. Dang. Deliver me a new world, one that bends to my will. As you wish, but in exchange... Shimmer. Oh shoot, I got a bunch of dye in my backpack, okay. Long road to Yachtur. Oh, I'm ready to get underway, I guess. What's your travel pass be off? Bridge, just wonder on its own right. Okay. Press permission from one of the Dawn servants. I has fast pass. Bow with Wilmot, my apologies. Okay. That's pretty armor as well. Oh, those poor mechanisms lifting that big, big gate up. Oh. Pardon me. Oh my god, do we have to walk? Shall we then? Get on the bike. <laughs> Bridge is massive. I don't want to walk. Oh, good lord, they're making me walk. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. On the far side of that great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shaloni, where the sun guides in the Shetona town. Okay. So Red Dead Redemption? A guide, to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. But sweeping change had come to the arid expanse when, beneath its red crust, vast deposits of ceruleum were discovered. Oh. Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtle on, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. It is here that our journey continues, our path taking us along wending roads of steel, each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. Okay.
My home, Yasolani, lies past Shaloni. It will be a long journey, but the railroad should make it easier. Oh, there's a railroad here. Okay. <laughs> Last train I rode on, I had to, you know, I... As for the way to the train station, let's ride these fellows, shall we? Oh, hello. They're slightly larger than an alpaca. Bird ironic. Great, so if one will suffice, I have a creature ready and waiting. If you need two, then you'll have to wait. Acting strange lately, more easily spooked and otherwise disagreeable. Uh, picking out the few fit for rent and proven more bothersome. But he's got like a, like a Texan accent, I think. Like I said, the creature designs in this game, like, they put in work. Usually so docile, and the ones I saw earlier didn't appear to be unhealthy either. Not the best start of our journey. Will you rent one? I'll get on my bike. Train station's not far, seems we're not in a hurry, let's go on foot, okay. Given us trouble, other wildlife showing signs of aggression too. Emergent sh uh, should be returning soon with one of our base. Stick around till they do. We'll see on a safer trip. Appreciated, but I don't think my friend here is particularly concerned about the wildlife. <laughs> I probably hear and feel the rock. Okay, I'm not becoming Wooplamot 2 Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Faster than walking, safer besides you back on the road before you know it. Small town nearby, okay. Oh, remind yourself the drunkards and troublemakers. Okay, yeah, we've literally just passed into Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's the problem. I don't have a two-seater vehicle, so I can't, uh, you know, so I can't, uh, I can't ride with Aaron Veal. Okay. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, Aether Current. Okay. I might actually try and figure out how to get that one. Recuperating, okay. Well, that's not hard, okay. Hey, it's very important because this way I have something to make people, com you know, completionists and all the uh, people with OCD to complain about when, uh, you know, whenever they watch my stream. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to uh, unlock flying here either. We're in a camp with a shop or three. Okay. You haven't been here in a while, but I mean, I think that's pretty uh, understandable, though, because you said you haven't really come back in ages, so. Well, well. It's become a proper town. It's even got a saloon. That's funny. Okay, ha hang on. That's werewolf. Now hold on a minute. Oh great. Some sort of trouble. I'm talking to you, you old bastard. 
Give me strength. For the last time, the investigation is closed. There's no refuting the evidence. I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. <sighs> Let me remind you who the scum is here. Your friends, who had the temerity to point their firearms at me, the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. And after taking them into custody, what should we discover but incontrovertible proof that they had committed larceny? They will not be released until they've paid for their crimes. I'd heard the peacekeeping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Yep. Still can't get up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Zekua needs his bottle. Sure he wouldn't prefer his mama's teeth? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Treat me like a child, will you? My friends haven't done anything wrong, damn it! They've been framed! Oh, stubborn little runt. Uh, listen here, Zekoa. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd best comport yourself like one. That means respecting the rule of law. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it can be had if each man does the right thing. And for those that don't, well, they have to answer to the Dust Watch. Now run along and think before you cast aspersions next time. Lest you hurt my feelings. Fine! That's how it's gonna be. I wouldn't if I were you. I oh, know, we're more uh, good, the bad, and the ugly, I guess, yeah. There's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. For you, that's now. What? Hey! What are you doing, Zekawa? You better not be stirring up trouble. Wahute, you sack of Ronek shit! This ain't Ooh. over! Do you hear me? Yeah, that, yep. You want to tell me what that was about? Nothing that need concern you, sir. Zekoa is simply struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends. But for good measure, I'll have the men keep an eye on him. Yes, you do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go make my rounds. Oh. Confused. I wasn't expecting to see your faces among the crowd. Talk is rife, there's a new dawn servant. Take it you found it then. The Golden City. That we did. Aye, the contest is over. And as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shak Tural. What brings you north? Nothing in particular. Just seeing what there is to see. Yep. Gurul Jaja compensated me rather generously for our duel. 
I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. Ah. But for now, I shall be moving on. Oh, by the way, I recommend you try the Sabbath tender. They may not look it, but surprisingly delicious. Oh. But we don't serve Sabbath tender here. Yep. That's, uh, yep. That's our boy. They went, at least no one was hurt. The dust box is the work cut out for them. As long as I can remember, all the streets bigger small were settled by dueling. Rarely saw eye to eye, for better or for worse. Simple way to settle differences. Uh, most would sooner not risk their lives, though. It encouraged parties to pursue peaceful resolutions in a roundabout fashion. It was likely established by supporters of Kona, uh, prefer, preferring peace uh, be enforced through formal rule of law. A reasonable stance, all things considered. If things got out of hand, ever got out of hand, the lands guard would be forced to step in. What freedom they have now would be lost, eh? Just say... Uh, lengthy stay in a jailhouse appeals to you. Mind, be mindful of how you handle your arms in town. Um, I don't know if I'll need these, but I'll paint them anyway. So go on ahead and check if you want to have a look around, be my guest. Okay. Let's go. Both waiting and really wildlife's not the only source of distress. To stop at Shishenu Sea Springs. Okay. That with the banditry. Uh but they reckon the bandits are operating as a gang, running them up. All is easier said than done. I have anything of value, and I want to take it with you. Ready to say it off, be on your way, okay. Travel there and veal, okay. It's like riding a big bison. Much Saloni has changed. Okay, tell me. Visited wasn't here several years ago. Okay. A few reliable opportunities to replenish water supplies. Travelers turn to. I don't know what that was. Not just for water in their stems. Fruit. Nutritious and delicious. Okay. Oh, well, there's bombs here. Okay, my camera's sort of turning. Oh. Might hope to find water, but it's brimming with ceruleum. The erupting flame... Eruption of flames. Respectacle. Tales of caution. Okay. That's kind of concerning, though, because doesn't that mean that they could do some of the same stuff that Garlemald did? Because that was part of what they were using was Ceruleum to, like, fuel war engines and stuff, right? But, I mean, I don't know that they have much use for it. Okay, I kind of missed what he was saying, but it doesn't seem super important. <laughs> it's just world building. I shouldn't say that, but... Okay, there's another uh, ETH right to grab. Smelt the next passengers are already on their way. They are really short on Ronic. Now then. Spring's busiest town here in Shalom. People from all over coming to find their fortunes. 
surprising enough, but this is the most impressive. Shaped a great deal in three years I was away. Oh, he's only been away for three years? Um, east side of town, there should still be time before the next train departs. Pay a visit to the old friend of my mentor. Okay. Ayet. Ayet is her name? Set her from her village ten years ago, hoping to earn coin as she traveled to Rawl. See if we can find her. Blue hair. Blue hair, potentially bunny person? Bunny girl, maybe? Question mark? Okay. First off. Most important thing. Down to the east, right? So that I can teleport back here. At some point. Um... Uh, okay, can I go in this house? No. Okay. Uh, oh, I discovered a new location, apparently. Saddle up. Okay, I'm like two levels higher than I'm supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So I'm like half. Who may you be? Just my friend. Oh, okay, so yeah, okay, it was blue haired. Okay, it's not really blue. Goodness, it is. Aaronville, yes. And grown, you were such a darling little thing as a child. You know, it's only been three years since last we spoke. Really, only three. I suppose it started to get hazy after a while, living as long as we do. Uh, she's known as my mentor. Oh, she's known my mentor since we were chill. They were children. Oh, okay. How long did they live? But confusing to me. Um, it's not something that really um, you know, I've I've really ever looked into or like that gets brought up a heck of a lot in this game. But I'm not entirely sure what the different like lifespans of uh, like the different races are. In, in all honesty. I mean, the, the different playable ones, I mean, because, like, there's the obvious, like, okay, dragons live almost forever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some of the stuff is fair, but... Um, yeah, you travel with company, you really have grown ill something or other. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Oh, that is that what they call you here? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to... Is that or ill or what now? Was born Ellen. Sh Ellen Shipia? New name when I became a gleaner, one that adheres to Eastern Vieira conventions so as to avoid drawing attention. Okay. Uh, given this is a homecoming, it was only a matter of time before you found out. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you continue to use my chosen name. Yeah, it's pronounceable. Yeah. <laughs> Paying the old stamping grounds to visit myself. Uh, it'd be good to see Gooey K again. Uh, she's the finest archer I know. Oh! Mother and mentor. Every time she dropped by, she treated us to a variable feast of some fresh game she hunted herself. Oh, is, is uh, Aaronville going to pick up the bow? Going to be a bard, maybe? To, to finish off our, uh, you know, our, our cadre of... Uh, Scions, but not really scions. Couldn't compare skill at arms, pills, knowledge of nature. That's oh, she was one of Ghoul Jaja's traveling companions. I did not know that. Always the inquisitive sort. Uh, but her journey across Tyrol lit a fire in her. Even after Aaronville was born, she often left left him in my care so she could embark on another expedition to search the unknown. Brian begged her to take you along. It must have been hard on you. Well, yeah. Hit <laughs> yeah, a please. What? We're all friends here, aren't we? 
How many times he asked, the answer was always the same. You can come when you've proven you're a true explorer. Task me with finding the Golden City. Despite my best efforts, all paths led nowhere. I assumed it was but a dreamer's fancy, a ploy to goad me into experiencing the wider world. But it was real, and we found it. Part of the ready succession, I assumed everyone had heard. Amazing, oh, she'll be thrilled. You're gonna bombard me with questions, no doubt. Should be on our way. So much for stopping by and giving my best to oh, help. I need help. Well, that's what's going on. What's that about? Investigate, please wait here. You're the person without a weapon, you're like rushing off by yourself here to help someone potentially. Okay, it did not take my paintings, thank you. Oh, what in sweet, whatever, what in the sweet, whatever are you, oh, salamanders, okay. Okay, what's, what's going on? These are the infamous local bandits. They told me I've been robbed. Uplamot's nursemaid. If any closer, we'll slit her throat from ear to ear. So much as nick her skin, you'll live to regret it. Yeah, didn't they say this is Wuklamot's nursemaid? Maybe this ain't such a good idea. Take the goods to the boss, we'll deal with this. Uh, ball, don't run! God! Okay. Going after... okay, great. Well, I mean, okay. Hang them by the ears and feed woman to the dogs. No, you guys get to deal with me. Deal with them later. I need to put this one in the dirt. Hey, I like your jacket. Can I take it off? Can I take it off you after you're dead? Hammer time! Uh, okay, I need that to time out before I can... Uh... Sorry, before I can paint another uh, weapon. Done without you, okay. Let's get away, but I have an idea where they're headed. He stole something from you. Bracelet. It was a parting gift from Ruflamot. Close, I can only imagine how much it meant to you. But what, yeah, what brings you out here? Ready succession ended, and Ruflamot crowned the next dawn servant. She's ready to stand on her own. I told her as much of my plans to return to. Yeah, Solani, she gave me the bracelet. We might remember our time together. Oh, okay. Filled me with such joy, I wanted everyone to know. Everyone to see this wonderful gift given to me uh, by the vow of resolve, and now it's gone. Would have let them take every coin in my name if they had left me with the bracelet. 
tend to do, but I know that look. We're getting the bracelet back, I don't care. Put yourself in harm's way for my sake. I did it for the star. No, uh, no harm will come to us if you're able to make certain of that. Your methods can be brutal, but it would be wise to show some restraint. Uh, lest you find yourself on the wrong side of the low, perhaps I should come as well. To be sure, all proceeds it should. I don't know what to say. I can see why we'll come up with so much faith in you both. Uh, anything else? Let's see her back to the spring. No safer in town. Okay. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't realize I'm, um... Like I said, I didn't know that, uh... Because I've been running, um... Uh, running dungeons and stuff like that. I didn't realize that I've gotten, uh, um, whatchamacallit, a couple of levels too high here, so. Um. Oh, here it is. So, I didn't realize that I'm, like, two levels above where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Tell me what happened. You didn't worry. Okay. Ooh, dessert. Okay. Alright, let's go recover the bracelet. Find joy returning said gift if lives were taken. Comes to violence, stop short of killing them. Okay. Rest we can leave to the dusk watch. Makes me think you're strong, really strong, aren't you? I may have saved this star on one occasion. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bold claim to make, but if it's true, it certainly speaks to your strength. It's... Curiosity has been stated, and please indulge mine. Anything you tell us about the bandits? Let's see. I think there's some talk of some unsavory types coming and going from something or other to the southwest. Old mining, old abandoned mining town. Cerulean extraction is big business. No one wants to waste their time picking at dried up veins there. Perfect layer for bandits, not to mention. Uh, bracelet fled in that direction. Investigating that place. Can't let, I can't let the dust wash know if you like. No, not yet. Best if we went alone. Something I'd like to ascertain. Oh. Is one of the uh, leaders of the Dusk Watch dirty? I mean, that, uh, you know, that tracks as well. Yeah, there's all these, like, light blue salamanders around. It's actually kind of funny. Hey. What's up, buddy? Man, let's claim this place for themselves. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, they made no attempt to conceal their presence. How can the dust watch not have noticed by now? Question for another time. First, find the bracelet. I don't see the bandit who has it. Perhaps he's in one of the buildings. Ramshackle as they are, 
Uh, it should prove simple to eavesdrop anyone inside. Go have a look. I'll watch for trouble. Okay. So I'll notice you here. Okay. Voices muffled chatter. Where we'd be without him, probably shoveling sand, praying we'd strike it rich. Ain't that the truth? Only an idiot would work in the mines with easier money to be had. Uh, not when we've got a uh, boss who can keep the dust watch off our backs. Hey, watch what you say. The wind's got a way of carrying secrets to the wrong ears. Maybe so. Uh, but who'd ever believe one of one of them sainted souls was running our crew? The drunk who bought your story about the gold sh an alpaca, am I right? Okay. So yeah, that's right. I, uh, I kind of guessed it already. Um, oh. Yeah, apparently the bandits won't notice me here. You know, with a few of them standing, like, you know, like 20 feet away. Let me out of here, you bastard. Shut your mouth, you sniveling little brat. Make me. I'll get you all back for framing my friends. The vulture, most of all. You tell him can shit. Okay. How about we give you the chance to tell him yourself? We'll see how tough you are then. Okay, well, I'm not super concerned about little punk, especially if uh, his friends did actually steal something. Um, but we'll wait and see. Yeah. Okay. Back a prize you're gonna love, boss. Let's look at race for the abuse of seeing it. Made by a famous artisan. Idiot, how are we supposed to move something like this without attracting attention? Just please, I'm sorry. Reckon we can find a sailor who won't ask questions, sell it for a song. Uh, here are your reward. Uh, and don't bring me this kind of grief again. I won't, thank you. Okay, so the bracelet's in there, so that's where we're going. Okay. I saw an ether current there. If I can figure out where it is again, I might bother getting it. If not, oh well. Learn anything. Lear is a man of the dusk watch. That's kind of what I thought. That would explain why all these bandits have been able to do as they please. Uh, and you say they gave the bracelet to him. It seems we have our work cut out for us. Did you hear anything else of note? Go, the boy who confronted one of the officers in town. They threatened to take him to speak with the vulture. Their leader's alias, no doubt, fitting for a man who preys on the helpless. I have a better idea of who's behind the rash of robberies, but we also know that he has the bracelet. Without bloodshed will prove difficult, though, if he's uh, that quick to point a gun at his underlings. Uh, 
Probably need to say that, because, yeah. That's not going to say, though, because it's like, yeah, I can take him. Direct approach may have served you well in the past, but it won't suffice here. The deputy chief of the Dust Watch, he could claim... Wait, we don't know that that's him, though. Um, claim that we're the criminals and all this, and few people would believe him. Mm, I might have a plan. Small settlement southeast of here. Okay. Okay, so we're leaving. Okay, so... Where are we going? Like, okay, like really far away. Said it was a small distance. Dude, it's further away than the springs. Like... Yeah, what the hell, man? This place is further away than the, uh, the springs. Okay. Treat the bracelet without conflict. It won't be done uh, barging in through the front door. We'll have to lure him out. Fill ourselves of... Okay. Uh, Dragon-like creatures that live south of here. It's a breeding season you see in the males will flock to the scent of a female in heat. The ingredients in a sample of their feces. I can create an attractant that resembles the scent when burned. I can lure them to the... Uh, then we can sneak in and search for the bracelet. Collect the excrement. Thanks, buddy. Say anything I do not ask simply because of any aversion to feces. It's simpler for me to find a specific species of wild plants. Three pouches and... Great. You know, I think I should have just said I want to kill them all. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did, and I should have just gone and done it. Okay, so we're getting pterodactyls? Oh my god, go away, bird. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna have to get Aaronville the only one at this point, because that was fun. No Lapa Tender. Huh. Humble claw fibers, dried something or other root, animal fat, okay. Okay, so we didn't even really care about the town, is that what I'm seeing here? Sorry, buddy. 
not sticking around to find out what you do. I got MSQ to do. That is a very large... Okay, it's not a large hole. Okay. Ready, time set our plan in motion. Uh... I don't have any of those, so we're taking money. I have too many food in my inventory that I don't use. Okay. I skipped over whatever that was, so I'm just gonna... Okay. Just gonna go to wherever it tells me and hopefully figure it out from there. Daybreaker's Axe Slinger. Okay. Pardon me, sir. As I said, it is hammer time. Oh. Okay. Hey, that's fine. I guess I can just burn all these clothes afterwards as I'm standing right next to whatever this is, which can't smell very good. It's that smell. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably sure I wear, I'm aware. Okay. Okay, so it is him. Okay, so now we know that for sure. I brought some friends. I'm gonna leave that kid in there. No. I'm gonna just let him rot.
to appreciate the help, okay. Sure I've seen his face before. The officer you confronted in town. The same. Oh, when he's not masquerading as a gang leader, he serves as deputy chief of the Dusk Watch. That explains why the bandits can do whatever they want. Okay, yeah. It's the least I can do after you bailed me out. Uh, I have an idea where he hides his cash. Reckon he'll head back there now. We can go together. I've got a score to settle myself. I don't doubt that you do, but we need to know what it is first. Uh, bandits are called the Daybreakers, and it was me and my friends that founded the group. Oh, so you're bandits. Yeah, so lock them, lock them up. It wasn't a gang of cutthroats, not back then. Wanted to protect people that couldn't protect themselves. Kids being harassed by bullies, workers being exploited by mining concerns, folks who needed help, thoughts... Odds and ends. Three years ago, I uh, found someone scheming in the shadows. We settled the matter the best way we knew how with a duel. Old laws, anyone who loses a, in a duel must be held to account for their crimes. Position of authority. They damn sure they did every time. Before we knew it, our small band of friends commanded a force to be reckoned with. Uh, then about a year ago, the Vulture and his thugs showed up. Uh, they got the better of us and took over the Daybreakers. Uh, every one of them was afraid of him, so they uh, did his bidding without question. Uh, but when he showed them how he could make uh, how he could make a fortune easily, that was when he really won them over. Uh, now the Daybreakers uh, is nothing but a bunch of bandits and cutthroats who prey on people created to protect. Over my friends, really the only way to stop him was challenge him to a duel. He accepted, and I still remember how he gloated that he'd win. Okay. When the day came, he showed up with the dusk watch and had my friends arrested for charges of robbery. That wasn't enough. He set their bail at a price no one could ever hope to pay. I'm locked away. There was uh, no one left to help me. I'm, None of my old friends from the Daybreakers, not, certainly not from the Duskwatch. Well, yeah. Ready to challenge him in the middle of town until that guy with the spear stopped me. Vulture's minions caught me by surprise. They took me prisoner and, well, you know the rest. Yeah, because you're an idiot. Uh, Duskwatch would be of no help. Are they all working for the Vulture then? <clears throat> Not all of them know the sheriff. Okay, okay, he's as honest as they come, a staunch keeper of the peace. Problem is, he's a little too trusting and doesn't suspect a thing. Uh, if it were my word against the deputy chiefs, who do you think he's going to believe? Those with the vulture keeps the spoils, perhaps we can help us. Yeah? I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. Hear me out, but not here. I'll be waiting for you at some other spring. Okay. And decide to go after we hear the pitch. Okay. Let's just wander around with a known outlaw and, you know. See where that goes, I guess. This is a very large golem that I do not want to get irritated. Okay. Ray hides his loot. I expect him to show up soon. Wild banana blend. Huh. That sounds neat. Oh well, look who it is. 
Sorry, selling goods here seems risky, but I suppose it's an option for someone with with his authority. Yeah, I moved the spoils in cerulean barrels where no one would think to look. Uh, they're mixed in with regular shipments of fuel to Tuliolo where they're sold off. He said he stole the bracelet of yours, right? Uh, if he knows you're on his tail, chances are he'll be eager to get rid of it for anything he can. Trust the lackey with the business, given the providence of the piece. No, I'll wager he's not letting the bracelet out of his sight till he's got the coin in hand. Look of you after, but I'm glad to see you're more than an impulsive child. Not my finest hour, I'll admit. Yeah! Lesson in that. The vulture's a slippery bastard. If we're going to catch him, we need to pa back him into a corner with a, with hard evidence. That's my plan. Lure him away from here over to wherever that is. Uh, would be ideal. For that, I need one of your help. By time to search barrels of stolen goods. And using that will expose him as a criminal. There's uh no way to tell if he's carrying the bracelet, but regardless of time once he's behind bars, or he simply feign ignorance. We'll try, and that's when I'll challenge him to a duel. That approach didn't work out so well for your friends, as I recall. Unlike before, I'll challenge him in front of the whole town. That way he won't be able to wriggle out of it like before. Every man, woman, and child in the wilds understands the importance of duels by the old laws. The deputy chief would never disgrace himself by refusing. Wouldn't you be breaking the law by using a firearm in town? It's not as if we'd be using live rounds, but it's a risk I'm worth willing to take. Get him to duel with as many witnesses as possible, then when he loses, and he will lose, be the end of the vulture. Okay. I have this weird feeling that someone's not going to be using, uh, you know, not going to not be using live rounds, but we'll see, I guess. Plan's not without flaws, but what do you think? Yeah, uh, as long as we get the bracelet back. No, it's important to someone who's, you know, tangentially important to me. Satisfied, and so am I. Knew I could count on you. Well, I'm glad one of us was, uh, you know, believe that. I was seen. Probably best I stay and search the barrels, and you're with me. Tell the vulture I tried to rob you. Uh, tell the vulture I tried to rob you, but you managed to overpower me. Even if he suspects a trap, he won't be able to resist taking the bait. Uh, you want to buy your friend as much time as possible and make your way to whatever. Uh, once you've got the vulture there, take the rest. Okay. Okay, I don't actually know where I'm going, but... Yeah. Pardon me, Mr. Sheriff, sir. Uh, okay, where am I going? Likely that Chitona's doing, but what's, what's his angle? Hmm, and there's that brat. The brat. It's past time I dealt with him. Hey. Pardon me, sir. A familiar face in these parts of him. Have you need have you need of the Dutch wa Dusk Watch, miss? <sighs> Tried to rob you, but you apprehended him. See so desperate was he uh, to see his friends free from prison, he turned to a life of crime. How awful. Serious thanks, miss. Might have troubled you to take me to him. Okay. Uh, 
I've been playing tour guide, but if you insist, home to thriving cerulean mining industry, easy coin for some undesirables, though. Okay, so where am I going? Maw of... okay. Oh, good lord, that's far. Um, I don't know what happens if I get in a fight with him with me. Um, I'd rather not find out. Pumps of fur. That's, yeah, we're not touching that. That's a fate. Um... Oh it's, a, oh, it's a cerulean bomb. Okay. Wait, is this where I'm going? Sunbeard? What are you, though? Alright, there's some cute little gold thing. Oh, you got mad hops on you. Okay, is this where I'm going? So it better be the place. I kind of hope so. I left him tied up around a big rock. Must have been a different rock. <laughs> Patience is wearing thin, miss. Yeah, me too. Where are we going? Oh, right. They said, they said that um, I was supposed to buy as much time as possible. That's why I'm sitting here going, like, where am I going? Like, <laughs> this got me, like, walking all over the desert. Or the, uh, the bad land here, so I'm, uh... Okay, I just would say, I, I really hope he comes with me down this slope, because, you know, I'm trying to go in straight, as, as straight a line as possible, but... Okay, I think this is where I'm going. Alright, where is he? Okay, back to where we started. Wahoote! Finally caught up to me, I see.
<laughs> well, well, if it isn't our young outlaw. You've taken up stealing, I'm told. It can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint, but you're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today. And my bag! So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This barrel was at Shesenuetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Toliola. The Landsguard would have presumed it part of the regular Ceruleum shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its contents sold for coin. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? As fortune would have it, I spied the leader of this operation being handed one of the stolen items. A bracelet, which Vau Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. It, it was from the Vow of Resolve? Uh-oh. Oh, you've seen it then? <laughs> yeah, oops. No, no, never. And if I knew who had it, I, I would have arrested the scoundrel. What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? Well, oh, that ended quickly. It's a, a setup, sir. I, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me so they could get me out of the picture. If you feel your honor's at stake, there's always the old-fashioned way. The law which folks have used to settle their differences for generations. You don't mean... Well, that escalated quickly. Wahute, I challenge you to a duel. The winner is right, the loser is wrong. Doesn't get simpler than that. Yeah, have at it! Let your pistols do the talking! So much for settling do things peacefully. Do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? You refuse then? <laughs> A baby alpaca's got more fight than you. Pardon me. All right, boy. But remember, you asked for this. Come on, Sekowa! Give him what for! Shouldn't we stop him, Chief? Even if it's just rubber bullets, we're in the middle of town. Be quiet. Just watch. It's not very far away. Oh, you little. 
little shit. Looks like you've gotten slow in your old age, Vulture. You and I are going to have a long talk. Uh. Well, hopefully that settles that. I apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. Oh, wow. But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. But we Hute drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self-defense. You're free to go. As are your friends. Ha! Ah, you're not such a bad guy after all! Just a man of the wilds, like you. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers, it pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you going to do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. But those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. I don't think that's how you pr what spell you, straight. Zakua? What do you intend to do now? Why, what I've always done. Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old-fashioned way. Here, this was Vauk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? Thank you, sir. Yes, a person very dear to her. I suppose this is where we go our separate ways. My thanks again for your help apprehending the vulture. Is it weird that it's almost nice that this person isn't voiced by Matthew Mercer? Like... <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but all I could think of is, you know, him doing, uh... I don't know what his name is now, I don't play Overwatch McCree. Complicated, all's well that ends well, finally over, couldn't run just without your help. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Yeah, don't worry about it. Bracelets, return to the spring. Uh, you'll be staying there long. I'd like to give you a proper thanks after finding my friends. Weren't planning on it, there's no need to rush. We'll see what springs then. Okay. Okay, where am I? Okay. It's not that far, let's just teleport. Okay, so yeah, I guess I'm... Like, if level is uh, any indication, I guess I'm supposed to be like... Halfway-ish done now, but I don't want to... Make any assumptions, pardon me. Bracelet, thank you so much. More than just a gift. Uh, it's a part of me I could never hope to replace. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, we might as well have such devoted friends. Well, wouldn't quite put it that way. I prefer to think of us as long-standing acquaintances. You choose to describe it. There's no denying the depths of your bond, though I'm sure you'll continue to do so. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised the deputy chief turned out to be the bandit's leader. I always knew something wasn't right about him. Easy claim to make with the gift of hindsight.
real daybreakers have arrived. Uh, if it wasn't for you believing in Zekowit and doing what you did, you'd still be locked up. Uh, you have no idea how satisfying it was, bastard behind bars. Never gave up hope, find a way to get us out. Fortunately, our group is smaller now and lacking in strength besides some outlaws might see us as an easy target. Just watch the slip, the daybreak will be there. Train night and day so no one will get the better of us ever again, is that right? Okay, great. Yeah, training arc, go. Draw your pistol so fast, won't you? I won't, uh, I won't need to duel if all goes well. Chance it doesn't. Make sure you can match my speed, but you're a great debt. One of these days I'll be sure to repay it. Till we meet again. Okay. My Vatsani doesn't make it through the week. Before he falls in a hole or, yeah, something. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll find a better place to rest. You let me know if there's anything I can do for persistence. What you planning on taking the train home? Train service has been suspended, didn't I tell you? No, you've neglected to mention that part. With the tracks being damaged in the last quake, the tunnel was closed as well. Earthquake. Must have happened while we were still down south. Quite a few tremors of late, and a rather large one struck uh, not long before you two arrived. Okay, so how do we get... Oh, at any rate, if you want to know, service will resume. Speak to Station Master. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Lead the way, buddy. Yep, oh, this diversion out of the way. Let's... Oh, okay. Not too happy about the train delays. Okay. Another dungeon. Pretty close to the I'm last so one. Sorry, but we're not sure when the train will be running again. Uh, you've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way. Please don't tell me you've come to complain too. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> We heard that the earthquake had caused disruptions, and wanted to ask when operations would resume. Uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. I'm afraid so. Too few hands for too much work. It's time-consuming enough to inspect the tracks after every quake, but this last one we got after the succession ceremony was massive. Made a mess of a whole bunch of railroad ties. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliolal at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. Yeah. I have to admit, it was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Oh. Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? <laughs> what about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. Though, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, we'd be truly tremendously grateful. Thank you. <laughs> I love the, like, so super stiff, I'm like, Shenza, by the sure. Way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you would please step inside, I can introduce you to everyone. Sorry for dragging you into this. You'll pay for this later. No, don't, don't, don't say no. <laughs> there they are. That's them, the two volunteers. 
Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Nito Ikwe. Okay. And this grizzled mug is Zofia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Much obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Oh, hey, yeah, that's... Wow. Is something the matter? Would <laughs> you happen to be a fan of trolleys? <laughs> okay. Trolleys? They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean-powered engine. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. <laughs> right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties, so it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. In these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. Hetsaro. Come on, no time to waste. It's a nice callback to, uh, to Shadow Ringer, sir. Yeah. Okay. I must confess, I've never visited the home of the Hetsaro. According to older traditions, a dim view of the railroad. One with nature. Another station on the way, so be sure to drop in. Uh, train will be at the depot, but you can still see it from the outside. Enough jabbering. Thanks to these two, we finally have some real work to do, so let's get to it. Okay. Stopping at the station after all, okay. Okay, so I'm going up, and then I have to go down? Oh, Lord. Well, yeah. Can't get away from those, gentlemen. Big lizards. It is an impressive sight. How easy it must be to ship goods through the wilds now. Right northeast of here. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm gonna drive towards that etherite because I have this weird feeling that that's where I'm going. If not, I'm gonna drive towards this etherite because that's where I am going. Cool, hold up. More important. Okay, pardon me, we we may continue. So it's just up ahead, never direct uh dealings with people of okay, we're just not gonna pronounce that. Uh 
Uh, but I do know that their traditions mean a great deal to them, so does the land. Okay. Okay, what am I looking for? It's lovely clean air. Feels like a treat to the overpowering cerulean of the springs. <clears throat> Water nearby is generally just as pristine. It's a paradise for the people and animals both. Appreciate the blessings of nature as we do. Travelers and welcome. Oh, Chief. Okay, it's my son, Shepo. Shepetto? Okay. Warm welcome. Apologize for sudden intrusion. Station Master. Recent quake damaged our tracks. Repair timber. Volunteered to assist us with the restoration effort. Wait, sniff. Is he smelling me? Uh, you have a most curious air about you of oil and steel, tanned leather, and the faintest hint of tender grasses, grass of land unknown. I gather you're not from around these lands. Hang on, can we go back to the part where he's sniffing me? Love to know more of you and uh, the lands you've seen. Okay. All traditions to the highest. Uh, yet I gather you are curious about the others as well. Nature is boundless, as, as is our love uh, for her lands and her children in particular. have done much to guide our way of life. Uh, where to hunt, to gather, lay our heads. Uh, teach us all sorts of things. The heat so? It's so? so for that reason I believe we are attuned to the shifting winds. Means leader of souls, doesn't it? Uh many creatures revered. Oh, many creatures revered is okay. Here we look wrong for guidance. Uh may have leaned for our use of etherites. Uh, are committed to our traditions. This doesn't mean we reject all outside influences. That said, there are certain things that give us pause. Probably the railroad, yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, we furnish you with timber you require, but first, as neighbors in this land, we must ask you indulge in it us in a discussion. Glad to do so, of course. Okay. Not often we receive guests. My son is always delighted to hear their tales. Okay. I'm not sure where this is going, but okay. Shall let them cook. Oh, pardon me. Speak frankly, we fear the winds of change will soon bring misfortune to the land. Uh -uh. Made the potential for danger plain, as you may have heard. Their temperament has become erratic of late. Stableman mentioned it. Do you know what the cause is? suspicion since others were drawn to this land by Cerulean. Jolini has undergone a transformation. The railroad was part of that. Strong and resilient as they may seem, they're sensitive creatures. 
The roar of the train as it thunders through the plains may well cause them distress. Said we don't necessarily reject outside influences and innovations, but this can't we can't help but worry. That's fair. Thank you for being so forthright. Not only the Hitzaro, but all the Shaloni. Perhaps you should bring the attention to Balcona. When you say, no, uh, no one th only through rumors, but he's apparently, how shall I put this? Hard headed and aloof, he values technological advancement and efficiency to the detriment of all. Mind your tongue, Shepetto. <laughs> Uh, well, this grain of truth to the rumor, he is uh, not nearly as bad as they make him out to be. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna say that one. Certainly a side of him we weren't aware of. Up oh, beside Valcona in the right of succession, I take her word over the rumors. You took part in the right of succession. You're that close to the dons, uh, to the dawn servants. I was grateful, uh, grateful for any help, but I had no idea I had recruited a bona fide hero. Yeah, eh. <laughs> Session of the dawn servants filled us with uncertainty for the future, but there's clearly much we don't know. On this particular occasion, the winds of change are not meant to be feared. Uh, no, we must open our hearts and minds. Uh, that we might see Valcona for who he truly is. Uh, do you think he might visit someday? Uh, just as his father offered us guidance, I'm hoping he will do the same. Hearing and allaying our concerns, I'm glad we could speak. Your timber, now we have freshly cut the logs near the lake. Take all you require. Okay. Terribly grateful. Uh, keep the Ronic foremost in our minds as we continue working on the railroad and if and if needs be we'll seek Balcona's counsel again for the time in the timber hope to see you again soon okay this is a weird distraction but okay hey More enough timber to fix the ties, transport up to the station, which is a bit more involved than I thought. I didn't expect to be given so much. Mind waiting here a spell around a few more hands, and ironic won't be long. That went well, and thankfully, it seems we need to make several trips for the timber. Thank you. That's uh, not. It's only six more. I'm going to save that. Um. We wait, uh, get started by moving the timber somewhere more accessible. Shouldn't take long if we split up the work. You bugger. Two minutes to complete the task. Oh, Lord. I don't know what that thing was, but I'm guessing I probably don't want to try and fight it carrying this thing. And the land would tremble. I don't like the sound of that. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Should be in I think this should be enough. Kind of you to move all the lumber, sir. Sorry we didn't make it back sooner. Nah, that's fine. We'll see to the rest. Okay. Where the tracks will have have you on the first train out of town, ain't that right, Chief? Or as much as I'd love to make it so there aren't any spots available. 
You wait for the one after, I'm afraid. But she'll be riding free of charge. It's the least we can do to repay your kindness. That's fine. Uh, and Amika and a few others were here long before. It's only right that they go before us. Yeah, that's fine. See the train off. It's a sight to behold. Driving, no engineer compares. We're about our own. Yeah, that's, yeah. I'll find somewhere quiet near the station to pass the time. Is there anything else? She'll need a cane, but leave it to you. Okay. See to it. I'm gonna go find my friend and watch the train. Oh, I wonder if I should have teleported. Oh, well, whatever. Nah, it's not that far. Oh, pardon me. finished upon playing recommended set aside yeah why not okay. it's the second it's the second or third time it's happened to me today yeah yeah it's got the cow catcher on the front okay a glorious grand machine indeed I hope Namika was able to secure a seat Here she comes! Yeah, keep these, don't go to motor cars. Thanks to you, we managed to resume service much faster than anticipated. You have our gratitude. <sighs> ah, there's nothing so enchanting as a cerulean-powered engine in motion! I'm trying to remember, I don't think the ones in Shadowbringers were voiced, because I was about to say, I also would say, like, because it's been a really long time, I don't remember if these are the same voices from hey, the characters. That's truth. Don't think I'll ever tire of watching them chugging along. Oh, they make wagons look like toys. And so long as we can lay the tracks, she can go on and on and on. Before you know it, she'll be crossing the entire continent. Railroads are a somewhat recent addition to Tural. As it stands, we can only ferry folks as far as Yasolani. And from an operational standpoint, we still have much to learn. There's always some problem or another to deal with. Yep. But we'll keep working at it. We'll hone our craft and continue expanding till one day our trains are running coast to coast. That's the ultimate dream. Yeah, seems good. I'm almost waiting for the other shoe to drop. Goodness, I completely lost track of time. By now, I expect the train will be nearing Yasolani. That's unfortunate. When it returns, we'll see you on your way. So if you've got any preparations to make... <laughs> You better make them quick. No. Uh -huh. Not another one. You can't be serious. Well, that's not great. Who summoned Ramu oh. or Susano?
Gods have mercy. All right, that's new. Huh. What in the flying? What's happening? We found oh, the, the Thunderdome. Nitobikwe and the others. My home lies that way as well. Uh oh. Well, that's the way we're going now. Uh, we're going to investigate. Right now. Well, that's... yep. What the... Uh... Um... Huh. Uh, well, you appear to be being invaded. Um... Huh. What in the world? Are they heading for Tuliola? Alright. I think we need to follow that airship. Well, that's, um, huh. Yep, so somehow I managed to, oh lord, um, be in like the perfect spot for like halfway, I guess, yeah. Heavens for Fent. You're here. Good, good. They came from the sky and attacked without any warning. The people need our help. I'm good. I can't fly. Okay, well, I can probably deal with them. Can you stand? Try to remain calm, everyone. Yeah. Uh oh. I like the weapon though. That looks really cool. I don't know what they are, but they're not men. Well, oh, that's a cool gun too. That sucks. Bastard! The armor looks neat, but... What the? Oh, that's not good. What the? Huh. I'll hold 
the line here. Fall back to the palace. Quickly, before it's overrun. Thank you, Bakul Jaja. Huh. This is a pretty abrupt tone shift. Oh, there's a lot of these things. Uh, this is simply how I do things now. So, who wants to chase my blade next? Okay, who are you? Okay, you're someone I don't know. Huh. Ooh. Oh, hello. Cool. Maybe not. But you should still leave. So, Roger? By the gods. What has happened to you? This is your butchery, isn't it? After everything you've done in service to the throne, how could you betray us? My demand is simple. The dissolution of Tuli Yolol and surrender of all its territories. Refuse, and I will kill every last one of you. Well, knows what he wants. Have you gone mad? No. My ambition remains unchanged. To teach the masses the folly of war, that they cry out for peace, and thus unite the world. What has changed you so much, and in so short a time? To harm the very people you swore to serve. <sighs> this is an unforgivable deed, committed by my son. My son! Whoa. You have heard my ultimatum. Answer by my hands, I will end your madness. Papa, wait, I should be the one to do this. I was about to say, hey, we're gonna see dad die now. Damn, no, his sins are mine to bear. Okay, well, I'm gonna be rough. Get the fear not. Ozoralja is strong. He has never been father's equal in combat. That was before he got whatever this stuff is. I believed you long dead. 
To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. What are you talking about? He doesn't seem like he's the same person almost, or part of him's not the same person because of that whole like. I thought you long dead. Like, how would he not know his father was alive, right? Like. Okay, but is he actually dead, though? Because I have this weird feeling that the answer is no. his old age, the mighty Gulul Jaja remains a fearsome foe indeed. You retain the vitality of two souls, despite the passing of one. Now I'm confused. I shall even the odds. So, Yep, called it. <laughs> Papa? No. Oh. Even the blessed are mortal. So the once faint-hearted girl would live up to her title. Very well. If only to demonstrate the disparity between us, I give you a chance to prove yourself. Rally the entirety of your strength. Lay siege to my kingdom. Kingdom? Strike me down. Like I did, father. Then, will you be his worthy successor? I 
trying to figure out where all this came Roger, from. Wait. My warships will remain in your skies. When you fail to prove your worth, I shall order them to lay waste to Tuli Yolal. Choose your next steps wisely. Okay. Okay, more questions. Hopefully some answers about the Golden City. If I can't die, he can't. Okay, what level is my... I hate it. Um, <laughs> okay. No time for tears. Wow. Okay. Could this happen? Yeah. Wow. Like I said, uh, <laughs> getting whiplash here. Okay. That, and if he's dead, like, Kenrum has to tell us about the Golden City, because we need to know now. Cast Rays. Please, you can't give up. Are you there, a oh friend? I'm right here. I'm right here. Look after my children. What? I'm an old fossil like you. I've only got so many years left. But if that's what you want, it would be an honor. Oh. You and I must go on another journey together someday. Hi. You can count on it. You'll make me say it, aren't you? Yes, Papa. The graves of the Yokui. You saw them, yes? I always found their teachings comforting. <coughs> Please, Father, you must save your strength. flesh may wither and die 
But so long as we are remembered, we are never truly gone. Through you, my hopes survive. Through you, I live on. So do not mourn me. Walk tall and see your nation to a brighter future. Well. <laughs> well, that happened. Just sad robot. So I, uh, we're in the city, the enemy is withdrawn, and the lands guard begin rendering aid to the people. Casualties within our ranks. Have hindered our progress, but we continue to do all that we can. Thank you for your report. Please, please inform the guard they are to prioritize such efforts until further notice. Got a really colorful uh, outfit. Need to help them. Whatever way we can, of course. <clears throat> you thank you. They're surely wounded everywhere, more than I could count. Split up and help them all. You can count on us. Okay. No, no. Cat in the room. Golden City. Now. Chop, chop. <laughs> Alice Perimeter. Come to the resplendent quarter with me. No, uh. Golden City. Chop, chop. Yeah. Yeah. We need to know what that was. That's that's more important. Wait, it doesn't let me jump. Okay. Done for Maybe it's better now. See them, those soldiers. They look like people. But they killed, killed with no hesitation. They, they attack us again. How can we hope to defend ourselves? Yeah, that's uh, that's a problem with killer robots. They're uh, uh, okay. The weeping citizen there. 
Uh, okay, nobody in here. Got it. Um. Can best my husband and son. They were sub. Okay. I guess it's up there. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, gotta be up here, I guess. So I'm putting out places for people to be. Soldier. Built to protect the people. Why did so many have to die? Where's the Vow? Come on, Vow Kona. They're not to blame, I understand. Clear my head. Okay, why am I going that way? Yeah, I don't mean to keep harping on it, but like, yeah, now it's extremely important. Like, okay, what was the City of Gold that was, like, so dang, you know, because they knew about what this was, right? Like, finished eating people here. Well, they probably got fined. Children among the wounded. Still others that need help. See how things in Talon merch afterwards. Go see Alize. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do, uh, you know tour of the city again, and then hopefully we get to move forward a little bit. Uh, okay. Okay, didn't go this far, okay. Perfect. Sports marks on the ground from enemy assault. Dirt weathered and in chaos, where's strewn across the floor? Yup. Seem fine. Seems fine out this way, though. Port remains unscathed. Uh, enemy ships continue to loom over. Oh, oh yeah. That's yep. That's why I was about to say, like, you know, I don't need to go super far again. Okay. Pardon me. Fine, seems to live the Lance Guard's care. As many casualties as they are, it would have been uh would have been worse if the Lance Guard hadn't fought as bravely as they did, and if the Rolja actually meant to harm the people. I mean, look around, the buildings are hardly damaged. I suspect his aim was more to incite fear to show that he could strike whenever he pleases. I have her father's trying to hard to fill her duties. When has her limit, she needs to rest soon. 
seeing her head towards the shore, we're going to risk gleam sand, okay. Yeah, another one of those just, yeah, just super light topics, like, you know. Oh. Oh, no. Who's this? Steady now. I brought you medicine. Uh, drink. There you are, Lamati. I was beginning to... Come on! Lamati... Lamati! Look at me, Lamati. You need rest. You and her both. I will tend to this soul. But my people, I have to help them. The Lansguard have matters well in hand. Trust in them. If there's another attack, your people will need you to protect them. They'll need you to be sharp. So please rest. Consider it your duty. And like I said, let's go talk to Cat and Rim, or Tonkwa, or whatever we want to call him, and say, hey, that, uh, do you know anything about all this? You know? I stood before them all, said that we'd build a nation where everyone knows happiness. So much for that promise. What good is a vow of resolve? Who cannot save her people? <laughs> you won't save your people by brooding. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a dick move. I'm gonna say that one because I don't think you know, I don't think it really. Uh, it's it's pretty mean to say the second one. You'll stick with me. Thank you. My head's a little clearer now. I need to concentrate on what I can do, rather than what I can't. Uh huh. We've dealt with unfriendly factions before, from your quest longing for conquest. To adherents of blessed siblings, people who are unwilling to listen. Even so, I believe that by learning about one another and engaging in good faith, we could peacefully settle our differences. And we did. Yep, and here's the next type of person. My brother is different. There'll be no reasoning with him. He killed our people. Our father. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his goal. Yup. So you gotta be able to deal with people like that. What's more, he has power. The power to destroy the peace we've worked so hard to preserve. If I'm to protect that peace, then I must fight. I must confront Zorolja and kill him. Okay, 
uh, about that. Your dad already tried that. Um, like I said, let's go talk to Kettenroom, because he probably has plot. You know? Because, uh, you know, about Call Me Crazy, but you cutting Zorulja down probably isn't gonna, you know, do much better than if I did it or your dad did it, right? Like... Seen a moment to settle my nerves. Thank you for being there. Hopefully it all makes sense. Strange soldiers, floating ships, new power. Given everything he's done and intends to do, can't afford to run uh, headlong. Terrible pain in my heart, leave me astray. Uh, make it my strength, strength to do what I must. Okay. I think I'm almost going to get to level 98 here pretty quick. Get back to the palace, need to talk to Kona. Could you and the others join us in a while to decide to proceed? Could you tell Alizé I'll be alright? Okay, I think it's actually faster to use the ether right here. Better, she needs to be strong. I understand that she doesn't do it alone. It tends to fight and fight together. That said, yep. She knew exactly what we were up against. Like I said, let's go talk to the person who probably does. Uh, well, really not a person, but it doesn't look like any automaton or magitech weapon I've ever seen. It's, uh, as far as wide as you've traveled, though, perhaps you've encountered something similar before. Would you mind taking a closer look? Okay. It's not ancient tech. Okay. Here's quite simple armor. Closer inspection. The construction is quite intricate. The material from which it is made is unclear, and you see no signs of a power source. Okay. The shape of the weapon resembles a gun. Uh, construction suggests it's far more advanced than anything you've seen before. Okay, yep. Um, soldier's helmet. Um, place where eyes or mouth might be. You see a strange sigil on the front of the helmet. I mean, it looks like a person, but it's clearly mechanical. Well, it resembles a person. Uh, it has features, uh, has features that make it uncanny. The lack of a face, not least of all. Do you see any signs of a power source? Probably doesn't run on ceruleum or any conventional fuels. I tried channeling ether into it earlier, but there was no response. It seemed to rule out uh, rule it out as an arcane entity, but it's completely lifeless now, a far cry from the unstoppable enemy that it was in battle. Uh, even the material it's made of is a mystery. Rather than a metal, it's more akin to stone. Wait, haven't, uh, haven't we seen this somewhere recently? Yeah, the glowing stones used in the chamber are the gates for the Golden City. While the soldiers are a different color, the worships are the same black as the stones of the gate itself. Yep. Like I said, let's go talk to Kettenroom. Uh-huh. Has to be a connection. Let's share our observation with the others and gather at Sun Perch. Uh-huh. Let's go talk to the person with the plot. Get to the bottom of this mystery, the better. I do like the way their armor looks, though. I think some, uh, 
uh, some machinists and whatnot might like the uh, the guns and stuff. Uh, okay, where am I going? Um, all the way to whatever. Okay, where's the vehicle? Uh, okay, C three is right over here, I believe. So let's just go use that. Hey. Yeah, like I said, like I said, I don't mean to keep harping on it, but, you know, it feels kind of weird, you know, it feels kind of ass backwards, and it's like, ooh, hey, this stuff seems weird and whatever, it's like, hey, let's go talk to the person who might actually know what's going on. You know, since we never actually got told what the Golden City was or why they had to seal it up. But, like I said, what do I know, right? Like, Oh, pardon me. Okay. Everyone's here already. All right, Captain Room, spill it. Thank you for coming, everyone. And thank you for taking charge in the relief effort. We would have fared far worse without you. Someone had to do it, that's all. Come, let's take stock. In terms of casualties, at least 50 died in the attack. And many times that number are wounded. All available healers are seen through their care. Structural damage at least is limited, so essential business can be conducted without issue. That said, the people are understandably shaken. We must assuage their fears, and begin working to restore things to normal as quickly as possible. <laughs> now, the most confounding mystery remains our enemy. And their mechanical soldiers created with technology that surpasses anything I've ever seen. Uh -huh. What is their nature? And how did Zoralja manage to bring them under his command? Such things remain unknown. There we go. They emerged from the dome encasing Yasolani. We're quite certain of that much. Ah, uh, speaking of the dome, we have some theories, I'm told. Indeed. I would like to call upon some helpers to join the discussion. May I invite them here? By all means. It's me. Permission has been granted. You can come in. Okay, if one of those people isn't cat in room, I'm gonna be really pissed off because he probably knows Greetings, what's going on. Everyone. Oh, okay. Buddy! Ask my cat boy. After that long voyage, I had hoped that we might be afforded a moment's rest, but I gather circumstances are quite dire. All is well in the Annex, never fear. I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. Following the changing of Dawn Servants, Gulul Jarja spoke about the Golden City to his two successors. Alright, out with it. Thanks to Wuglamart, I was allowed to attend that meeting. Okay. What I heard led me to conclude that this was a matter for the students, 
Thus did I call upon our comrades who possess the requisite expertise. Okay. It was actually after that that the dome manifested. But based on what we know, I have reason to believe that it is connected to the Golden City. Oh, okay. That was in the south, right? While we're eager to help, we have limited familiarity with the situation. Might we trouble you to explain from the beginning? Okay. As you know, it was a letter I found tucked away in the Baldessian Annex that brought me to Tural. Yep. A letter from the Dawn Servant addressed to my grandfather, sent some 20 years ago. Uh -huh. The request to investigate the City of Gold. Indeed. The strange thing is, there was mention of neither Tural nor the city in our records. Hoping to learn the truth of my grandfather's mission, what he did and saw, I volunteered to help in the right of succession. Okay, thank you. We... Yeah. At the end of which, I was able to hear the tale from Galul Jar Jar. Okay, there we go. Like us. My grandfather went to the deepest chamber of the Sky Deep Cenote. And, like us, he saw the gate to the Golden City. Okay. Is that what you required our help with? This gate? It was. You see, the gate was opened once in the past. And... Uh-oh. It led to another reflection. Oh. Ooh. I didn't see that one coming. I can take the story from here. Considering my part in these affairs, I reckon maybe I'm best equipped to speak on the matter. Thank you. <laughs> I was there too, you see. In those ruins, together with Galuf and Galul Jaja, -Ja, and what I saw that day, I'll never forget. Oh, okay. I was about to say, don't leave me hanging, damn it. <laughs> okay. in this part of the ruins were built by a completely different civilization. It was over a thousand years ago that the giants mined here. Their records make no mention of glowing stones. Hmm. It harbors high concentrations of ether, and on the surface are what appear to be arcane patterns. They aren't Alakan, or Mahi, or Nemean. If anything, they put me in mind of the calculations of the South Sea Islanders, but even then... Quake? 
day. There's none of these that's ever happened before. A void gate? Nay. This is different. Oh, wait. Cryles from another... from a reflection. this what is this who are you Her parents left her there without nary a word? Okay, but that doesn't explain what happened to her grandfather. Though it never opened again, Galuf continued to study the gate for years after that, hoping to learn something of value. Okay. Well, why did he go missing? All I could conclude was that it was built with unknown technology, and that it led to another world, one apart from the void. Okay. We'd assumed the ruins themselves were the Golden City, only to discover that the real prize actually lay beyond the gate, and beyond our reach. Could make head nor tail of the artifact either. As it had similar properties to the black stone in the ruins, we were convinced it was important. So Galul Jaja took it to the palace for safekeeping. Galuf, meanwhile, took the baby with him back to Charlian and raised her as his own. And the child was... The earring inside the letter to my grandfather. It was apparently found amongst my swaddling clothes. If this is true, then it means that you hail from another reflection. So it would seem. 
I still struggle to take it all in myself. Yeah, that sounds kind of important. Um... Looking back, Grandfather was always quick to seek distractions whenever I broached the subject. But never would I have guessed anything like this. Uh, yeah, that's, uh... Ooh. That's enough about me. We have more pressing matters. Yeah, let's, let's not worry about that. Yeah, that's not important. Hold on. The forces that assailed Tuliolo. You suspect they are somehow connected to the Golden City? That would make sense. Thinking back on it, the soldiers look like they could have been made from the same black stone. And leading them was Zeralja. His involvement also lends weight to the theory. On the day of the succession ceremony, a bandit took me unawares and knocked me out. When I came to, I found my home turned upside down, with a few particular items missing. Namely the keystones I was entrusted with for my role as Watcher of the Gate. The bandit? You believe that it was... I only got a glimpse of him, but I... was a blue-scaled hubigo. I know of no other. The artifact stored at the palace was also stolen. The thief struck during the ceremony, and the guard was spread thin. So our assumption is Zoran just somehow opened that gate to another reflection, where he acquired advanced technology and his mechanical army. It fits. And if he did, then it's also likely that the dome is a product of this unknown reflection. Yeah. Hold on. We've been going on and on about the reflections, but what of my home? What's become of it? Good question. I have no idea. Look <laughs> <laughs> the scions of the seventh dawn. <laughs> I'm totally saying that. <sighs> Indeed. Where it concerns other realities, I dare say the Scions are best suited to tackle the task. You can say that again. We've been to the literal edge of existence. Some mysterious giant dome shouldn't scare us. As you know, our order has ostensibly disbanded. We'd thank you to be discreet about our unofficial reunion. Huh. Worry not. We'll spare no effort to get to the bottom of this. And with our hero, eager to help, you can be confident of the results. Yeah, no pressure me, eh? <laughs> I'm coming with you. If that's where my brother is, then that's where I must go. I can't say I understand everything you're discussing, but I know what I have to do. I have to put a stop to Zoroja and restore the people's happiness. Suffice it to say, I share Lamachi's desire to join you. However, under these circumstances, it would be unwise for both vows to be absent from the city. That's, yeah. As such, I shall remain in Tuliolar. Come what may, I will protect our nation. So go forth, sister, and do what you must. Thank you. It may be prudent for us to likewise divide our forces. While one group ventures into the dome, the other keeps guard without. Agreed. There's something I wish to investigate out here. So I will remain. I as well. The enemy's warships still loom overhead, and I would see that we are prepared for the worst. 
Okay. I wish to go to the dome. As a student, I have an obligation to investigate this potential threat to the world. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not deathly curious about my origins. If there's aught to be learned, then I want to learn it. Well, let's go growl. In that case, please let me come too. I have to see what's become of my home. I may not be a fighter, but I know those lands like the back of my hand. I can guide you. <laughs> if you hadn't offered, I would have asked. We're counting on you. I'm not one for waiting around, so if it's all the same to you, I'll join the dome crew. You should accompany them, Graha. I expect your knowledge and experience will be useful. In the meantime, I intend to learn what I can about the gate, and will keep you apprised of my findings. Pray do the same. Assuming communication is possible from inside the dome, we'll maintain contact and share any developments. It seems our teams are assembled. A fine roster, I think. Looks good to me. We'll find a way to deal with the threat. For the sake of Tural! It's truly heartening to have you at our side for this. Thank you, everyone. Now, before we set off, there's one thing I need to do. The people are still shaken by the attack, and I'd like to reassure them as best I can. You have me wander around the city again, I swear to God, game. <laughs> Ready to set off, need to address my people. People we swore to have pulled are shattered. Okay. Need to do these words. If you like a soul to attend, I'll help too. Oh my god, I care to. No! <laughs> See the provisions for the expedition. Oh my god, just let us go! This is the fourth or fifth time I've had to wander around the city? Like. Okay, this gets, this is getting grating. Okay, where am I going? Oh, good lord, okay. Um. Yeah, this, I won't lie, is getting a little, uh, the wandering around the city is getting a little tedious. I think this is the closest one. Maybe. Nope. Okay, I found one. Resident. Okay, so it's gonna be more people. Please leave me be. Okay. I think the least I can do is listen, okay. Uh, doesn't need to attend, okay. 
Bearing alpaca herder. Okay. Please, I can't stay here. Oh my god, more? Just, like I said, this is really tedious at this point. I think I've done, like I said, like three or four, I think it's four quests now, which are literally just wander around the city and find people, and it's just getting tedious, I'm sorry. Like, I know this is supposed to be like a serious moment, but this is... Like, this is getting kind of annoying, where it's like, okay, I've wandered around the city for the fourth time now, looking for people, and you're kind of like, okay. Hey. Okay, last but not least, hopefully you. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we can move forward after this and not have to wander this wander the streets again. Uh no. Uh no. There we go. Yeah, I know it uh kind of messes with the uh, pseudo-somber tone or whatever, but it's just, yeah, like I said, the quest is getting really tedious, where it's like, okay, for the fourth time, wander the streets and collect people, and it's like, uh, come on! <laughs> just get on with it. But if you people thank you. Turned ahead of you, but upon hearing you were still out there, unsatisfactory with their own effort, and left again... Okay. <laughs> Helping you into rally affairs. Helping dear friends in need. Uh, having traveled to Ral sharing the rich cultures, I can see no other way. Zerl John's army posed a threat not only to Tural, but to the star as a whole. Stand with you to protect what you hold dear. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't expect uh, you've had much, if any, rest. How are you holding up? Little encouragement? Okay, no, you need to sleep. Don't worry about me either. Whatever weariness I feel is no match for my desire to protect my people, restore peace to our nation, and preserve our father's legacy. It begins by speaking to the people from our hearts.
see to a few things first. Feel free to go to the plaza and wait. Okay. Father raised them well. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that those two have like never met the two of them. Amachi, are you all right? Yes, don't worry. I'm ready for it. The fear, and sadness, and anger. Everything. Oh. I am the reason to your resolve. But more than that, I am your brother. You needn't bear this burden alone. Remember this. As you likely already know, my father, our former Dawn servant, lost his life in the recent attack. <laughs> he challenged the enemy leader to a duel and fought with skill and valor. And for a moment, we believed he had won. But wielding an unknown power his foe returned from death and struck him down. I could only watch as this happened. I could not tarnish my father's honor by interfering. Many of you have suffered terribly. You've taken wounds. You've lost friends and family. As vow of resolve, I failed in my duty to protect you. Words can't express the shame and regret I feel. And as much as it pains me to reveal this, the enemy leader was none other than my brother Zoralsha. Zorolcha? It's true! I saw him! We believe he staged the attack from Yasulani, which has been encased within a mysterious dome. I know that you're concerned for your loved ones there as well. Oh. But mark my words. I won't let Zorolcha torment us any further. Our father gave his life to protect our nation, and I'm prepared to do the same. You say that, but those metal monstrosities are still up there in the sky. What are you going to do about them? The enemy is still on our doorstep, and waiting for them to strike again accomplishes nothing. That's why we're going to strike first. We're going to take the battle straight to Zorolja and put an end to it all. 
And while my sister sallies forth, I will take charge of the city's defenses. Not another soul will come to harm. We swear to you. Like our father before us, we will lead with resolve and reason to restore peace to our nation. So please, have patience and faith. <laughs> so the resolve goes on the attack, while reason shores up the defenses. Sounds like a fine plan. Needless to say, you can count on my sword. Tural's my home, and I'll do my part for it. Hear, hear, brother. That's a hit. That makes two of us. Uh, or, or what was that? T two of we? Ah, uh, never mind that. <laughs> what of the rest of you? Will you let others do the work? Or will you do your part? And fight! We fight! We fight! We're two Leolins because we're united! We'll stand with you and weather this storm! He's right. This is our nation and it falls to us to protect it. We'll fight too! For Tuliolal! Me too! Me too! We're all together in this! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We've already learned much about our foe, and we will continue to learn more. In time, we will have the means to make their warships fall from the sky. When we join hands with our countrymen and our allies from afar, we're stronger than we dare to hope. Together, let us show the enemy the might of Tuli Yolal. You are the beating heart of our nation, each and every one of you. Uncertain days lie ahead, but for now, I ask you to persevere, to go about your lives as you always do. Only then can we ensure we have the resources to see our nation through these trials. Get back to work. <laughs> and when the time comes, we will strike. Tuliyola will not fall. We will prevail, and peace and happiness will be ours again. I'm the first, while the Exarch was no king, I often found myself speaking for the people of the Crystarium in like manner. And through their deeds, they answered me. The people of Tiraltu will rise to the occasion. Okay. What will arm my boots? Okay, it's only six. I'll probably try and squeeze it to... There. Okay, I also got level 98. Um, but yeah. I think, however, this is going to be a good place to leave it for tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, and we will continue this then. Um, and yeah, like I said before, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I hope we will catch all tomorrow. Have a good evening and catch you all tomorrow. All right, have a good night.